When Paolo Nespoli last left the ISS in May 2011, he filmed these unique images through the window of his Soyuz capsule. It's a view that has never been captured since. NASA's shuttle and ESA's automated transfer vehicle giving scale to this enormous outpost in space. Six years later, Paolo's in the final stages of training at Star City near Moscow and looking forward to his imminent third space flight. It's what I call becoming an extraterrestrial person. You know, it's losing your earthling uh, things and now you are really an extraterrestrial person because you don't think anymore about gravity, you don't think anymore about up or down, you think about what you need to do and position yourself so you can do it in the best way. Paolo first travelled to the station in 2007 on board the Space Shuttle Discovery. That 15-day mission paved the way for his first long-duration stay in orbit, which began in December 2010 and lasted for over five months. For the upcoming mission, Paolo, who is an ESA astronaut, will fly on behalf of the Italian Space Agency, which has a barter agreement with NASA. Once again, he'll be on board the ISS for around five months, enough time to get used to the challenging environment of microgravity. In space, you have to learn to walk with your hands and you have to, to learn to stay in a place with your feet because you need your hands. For me, it was an exhilarating uh, experience. I mean, I found this thing of trying new things. Uh, I find it really good. I felt I was like a little kid trying to, to do something, you know, try to get crazy and get inventive. Paolo recently turned 60, but for space flight, age is no barrier if you're in good health and experience counts for a lot. I feel really honored to, to be able to fly in space again. It's a very nice experience for me. I'm 60, but I'm, I'm going there and I'm expected to perform as anybody else and carry out my task. And I'm looking forward to do what is needed and possibly a little bit more. It's no surprise that the upcoming mission has been named Vita. It means life in Italian and stands for vitality, innovation, technology and ability.